not all three star hotels are actually three star hotels in fact not every star hotel is a star hotel there's a body called as hracc which is uh, hotels and restaurant uh, approval and uh, classification committee uh, this comes directly under the ministry of tourism and they are the people who rate uh, the hotels and give stars the process is very tedious you have to fill a lot of application forms you have to get a lot of clearances and then you have to pass all the checks and that's when you get the certain star so that's why a lot of people uh, build a fancy hotel a restaurant and everything and then uh, just proclaim themselves as three stars or four stars or whatever star it is but actually there is a proper process of how you get rated in this video we'll see what all features and facilities do we have in a two star three star four star five star hotel rooms so this is purely rooms it's not the entire hotel so i'll be only talking about things present in the room or something that has to do with the room all right let's start with two star so first of all the area of the room has to be minimum 120 square feet now this is excluding the bathroom the bathroom has to be 30 square feet so the total area has to be 150 square feet bed sheets pillow covers towels etc has to be changed daily that is if you say otherwise and say water toiletries has to be provided like uh, soap toothpaste etc 24 hours your bathroom has to have cold and hot water there needs to be a telephone in each room from where you can call the reception or restaurant carpets curtains furniture fittings etc has to be high standard in the bathroom you need a shower cabin or at least a shower curtain which differentiates the toilet area and the bathroom area there has to be a sanitary bin in the bathroom as the name suggests to dispose of your used uh, sanitary pads or whatever toiletries uh, you use now every room should have two towels one for bathing and one for washing your hands so a small towel and a big towel the room has to have wardrobe and shelves and most important you have to provide water for your guests so one and two stars are almost the same so the same thing kind of applies to the one star hotel as well now let's come to three star hotel rooms uh, whatever we spoke in one and two stars applies to three star as well Apart from that, these are the other things which a three-star hotel room needs. The area of the room has to be 130 square feet minimum and the bathroom area has to be 36 square feet. So total it is minimum 166 square feet. In the bathroom, you should have a hair dryer, which uh, if not in the bathroom, uh, should be available on call. The room needs to have a mini fridge. A mini fridge is a little fridge you see. Uh, it's not mini bar, it's mini fridge. Mini fridge has uh, water juices cold drinks and things like that but no alcoholic beverages tv with cable a writing surface basically a work desk sort of thing a stationary folder which is basically um, a folder which contains a4 paper letterheads envelopes and things like that outside the bathroom there has to be a mat so when you come out of the bathroom you can kind of clean your feet and then walk or dry your feet and then walk Ice on demand, which means that if you're drinking in your room, you can call and get ice. 24 hour room service. So that's three star hotels. I'm not covering entire thing, just the main main things. Now moving on to the four star hotel. In the four star hotel, the room has to be a minimum of 140 square feet, excluding the bathroom. The bathroom has uh, to be 36 square feet again, which makes the total as a minimum of 176 square feet. Suite rooms will be available in four star hotels. Suite rooms are basically a little bigger and little costly than the normal rooms we have in hotels. There has to be a safe in the room to keep your valuables. In the bathroom, you'll find bottled toiletry products, which means uh, the small bottles which you uh, get with shampoo, conditioner and moisturizer. In four star hotels, you will most probably find bathtubs. Not in all the rooms, but in some rooms. A four star hotel room has to have mini bar, which means a mini fridge with alcoholic beverages. Tea and coffee maker, which you all know. Laundry service, uh, basically you can give your clothes and they'll wash and uh, iron and give it to you with a cost. You get a newspaper daily, so be rest assured about the quote of negativity for the day. Four star hotel rooms need to have Wi-Fi in the room. It's not the one on the f uh, which you have a common Wi-Fi on the floor. It's uh, Wi-Fi for every single room. In four star hotel rooms, you'll find a business center as well, which is basically a work desk with a table lamp and... Um, ports different different ports to charge your gadgets a stationary folder writing pad and things like that so that's about four star and moving on to the last one five star five star pretty much has all the things which we covered till now uh, the two three four apart from that 
few things the five star needs to have is that the area should be 200 square feet minimum and excluding the bathroom the bathroom should be 45 square feet so the total area becomes 245 square feet minimum apart from that we we did cover a lot of things in, in the two three and four stars uh, five star just kind of magnifies the quality and the luxurious feel of it five star hotels usually have a lot of other things uh, apart from the hotel and the restaurant or the room uh, they have like gym barber shop salon spa uh, swimming pool and things like that so uh, they need to have multiple restaurants one has to one has to be a specialty restaurant uh, one has to be open for 24 hours so uh, certain things which uh, kind of differentiates five stars from the other hotels but overall uh, we are talking about the room so we kind of have mostly covered what the room should contain for different star hotels now i'll take you around this room i'm staying in the vivera grand in uh, dindigul let me take you around the uh, room and you tell me which star hotel is this this is the door you have a safe and secure lock uh, here you have a wardrobe uh, this is the safe where you keep your valuables hanger for your clothes this is the luggage rack where you keep your bags there's also a laundry tray where you put your um, laundry and they wash it and iron it for you right here you have the bathroom very next to the door this is the basin uh, they have provided a few toiletries soap shaving kit dental kit but i do have my own brush and things this is a mirror which kind of magnifies your face and shows you what you really are another mirror this is the shower cubicle and uh, this is actually the place where you will find the small bottles for toiletries shampoo conditioner moisturizer but it's not there a rack for the towel is used here you have the commode with toilet paper but there is no phone here moving on you have the mini fridge over here which is a mini bar actually not mine not mine not mine comes with the mini bar here you have a few snacks mine uh, the rate chart for the mini bar small area to keep things you have a mirror over here which is i think almost full length four four five feet this is the bed bedside table switches water this is the cable tv and here we have the phone the tissue box the tv remotes and this is again a care kit which has uh, earbuds and uh, band-aid so you have one socket to charge your phone or things and here you have a chair which is again mandatory in all the all the star hotels uh, you have a small teapot sort of thing where you can sit and eat probably this is a light which i've changed the direction <laughs> and these are the curtains which is opaque it has to be opaque or else you need a film on the window this hotel has both it has a film it also has opaque curtains this is the coffee tea maker shelf which is half opened and uh, this is again the writing surface with the chair you can sit and write whatever you want so yeah that's pretty much the hotel room as you can see so let me know in the comments below which star hotel room is this and also like share subscribe a uh, lot of people don't know about how the star system works and we just assume that if it looks beautiful the hotel looks grand it's a star hotel but no they have to go through a lot of checks and all this whole set of different procedures and it's basically an ordeal so a lot of people just make a hotel and give themselves the stars but yeah this is how the star works uh, this is just for the room there are a lot of parameters for the hotel as well which i have not discussed so yeah the next time you go to hotel room you know what kind of hotel is that like share subscribe and bye